London stocks were set to edge lower at the open on Wednesday amid ongoing trade war jitters. The FTSE 100 was called to open 8 points lower at 7,585 while U.S. markets will be closed for the Independence Day holiday. London Capital Group analyst Jasper Lawler said, with just two days to go until the U.S. Sino trade war threats start to take effect, relations between the U.S. and China remain hostile, rattling investors. Further blocks and red tape this time on the likes of Micron Technology and China Mobile, highlighted the likelihood of increased friction between the two nations, as we move towards Friday's U.S. imposed deadline. Tech stocks naturally came under significant selling pressure overnight, pulling the Dow. Lawler said that with the clock ticking until the Brexit deal October deadline and still a mind-boggling amount of uncertainties to resolve, the pound could find any service sector PMI-inspired rally drastically limited by the lack of Brexit progress. Alternatively a weaker-than-forecast services PMI print could see the pound plunge sharply lower, with Brexit uncertainty and concerns over the UK economy being too much for the pound to cope with, sending it back towards $1.31. In corporate news, Sainsbury's revenue growth slowed in the first quarter as the supermarket chain cut prices to sell more items to customers. Sales, excluding fuel, at stores open a year or more rose 0.2% in the 16 weeks to the 30th of June compared with 0.9% growth in the preceding quarter. Total grocery sales rose 0.5% compared with 2.1% the previous quarter. BP has entered into agreements with ConocoPhillips that will significantly increase its holding in the Clearfield, a core asset of BP's North Sea business in the UK, while also selling its non-operating interest in the Cooper and satellite oil fields in Alaska, it announced on Wednesday. The oil major said details of the transactions were not being disclosed but, excluding customary adjustments, the transactions together were expected to be cash neutral for BP and ConocoPhillips. Building product supplier SIG reported a slight improvement in UK sales in the second quarter but a slowing of growth in Europe. The FTSE 250 group said first half sales for the group were therefore almost perfectly flat compared to last year. Compass Group said that Johnny Thompson will step down from his role as finance director and leave the company by the end of December. A search for his successor will be started immediately. Chief Executive Dominic Blakemore said, Johnny has played a critical role in Compass success both managing regions of our group and as group finance director, and he leaves the business in strong financial health. I wish Johnny well and thank him for his contribution to the business.